As we start to venture back into the office and make the hybrid workplace a reality, do you want to install a free app in Microsoft Teams that allows colleagues to say whether they're working from home, in the office, or whether they're on leave, and arrange a meetup for coffee with a click of a button, all using Microsoft Teams? I'm the Productivity Coach, and today I show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart Redart, the Productivity Coach, and I'm a Modern Work Customer Success Manager at Microsoft. And before we go any further, I just want to ask a favour. Pop over to my YouTube channel, Productivity Coach, hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you find out when new content comes. I've been having a look at the analytics on my video, and 94% of viewers aren't subscribed, so they never get to find out when new content comes. So please pop over there uh, and just hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Okay, I've got that out of the way. Let's start to talk about TeamLink. So TeamLink is a free power app based on uh, Dataverse for Teams, so it doesn't use any additional Dataverse licensing, and it's completely free of charge. It's an app that allows people in your team or your organization to be able to say where they're working, including which office location they are, to pin a list of people uh, and also browse through to their team and see where they're gonna be over the week ahead. And then there's this cute little coffee icon and they can click on that and it sends them a message in Teams saying, hey, we're both in the London office. Why don't we meet up for coffee? So I'm gonna show you how you can install it because it's completely free. It's all on GitHub and you are completely in control. So you could install this just in an individual team. So just the team members within that team can see the, uh, see the data there. Or if you're a larger organization and you're under the limit for an org-wide team, then you could uh, install it there and then everybody in your organization can use it. And if you're larger than uh, the limits for an organization-wide team, then you can actually just install it into a team and then change the permissions on the app so that everybody can use it and you can uh, put the app onto that left-hand bar in Teams. So I'm gonna show you how you can install it, show you how you can make the most of this app, uh, and I'm sure that you are absolutely gonna love it. So let's have a look here onto my computer. So as I say, it's on GitHub, so you need to start off by going to aka.ms forward slash get team link. Okay, and once you go onto there, there's loads of documentation. It gives you this overview of what the app is. So you can see the grid there. It shows where everyone's location is. It's got uh, documentation telling you how you can install it, although I am gonna show you on this video. So there's loads and loads of information there. Okay, so let's click back on uh, TeamLink and you can see here on the right-hand side, there's this releases section and I can click on the latest release and download that. Now, when I recorded this, it was uh, 1.0.0.0, but by the time you download it, it might have uh, had some tweaks just based on any initial feedback we've had. So then I'm gonna pop over to Microsoft Teams and I'm gonna create a new team to hold the team link data. Um, so I'm gonna make an org wide team. So I'm gonna hit create team from scratch. And I'm gonna do this org wide team. Okay, and I'm gonna call it Contoso Team Link. There we go, and I'm gonna hit the Create button, and then it'll just take a few moments just to create the team. So because this is Dataverse for Teams, all of the data is stored uh, within the team structure um, without requiring any additional Dataverse licensing. Okay, so next I'm gonna do is go over to this Power Apps app. This is available from the left-hand bar. So if you don't have that, you might need to just type Power Apps at the top here, uh, to search for it and install it, or you could get it from the Teams App Store. Okay, uh, and I already had it installed, so it was quick to load there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click this Start Now button here. Okay, and it's gonna pop up the list of teams that I've got, and this is where I'm gonna be able to um, add my app. Okay, if you haven't had a look at this, there's some great template apps in here as well, so I definitely recommend it. Okay, so here we've got Contoso Team Link, and you can see a message at the top saying, I'm the first person to create an app in the team, so it might take a, a few moments longer. Could take up to a couple of minutes just to create the environment within that team. Okay, but mine's done now. And then uh, what it will do is it will pop open the Power Apps Studio, because um, it's trying to guide you to create your own app. But we're gonna cancel that, and then we're going to import um, the solution. So let's just wait a moment for that to install. Um, and again, if you haven't created uh, a Power App in Teams, um, this is a really, really easy way to do this. Okay, so I'm not gonna be doing any of this, so I'm gonna go up to the top here and click that Build tab um, to go back, and then I'm gonna make sure on the left-hand side I select my team, which is Contoso Team Link. 
Okay, so it might pop up this screen, or if it does, you can click dismiss. Um, mine went automatically. But what I want to do is click this link here that says import your solution. Okay, and then I'm gonna browse through to the download, the release download that I got from GitHub. So I'm gonna hit the browse file here. There we go. And I'm gonna take this team link managed file. Okay, and I'm going to go next. Okay, and it's gonna show me what's gonna be installed. So it'll have a few tables. Um, it will have the app itself, tells you all of that stuff, and you can just hit next. Then you need to have some valid connections. So if you've not done this before, it'll probably just say new connection here. So I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna pop open uh, the browser for me. And then I just need to authenticate so that it knows it can talk to the data. So uh, it's all auto, it's just click, click, click. So I hit create. Um, I just need to authenticate again, just say who I am. So I'm, I'm in a demo tenant, that's why it says Megan. Uh, okay, and then once that's happened, I can pop back to my team, hit refresh. Just give that a second, and then this drop down here should then have my email address, like it has. So I've got to do that again now for Teams, just to make other connection to Teams. And again, just go through there, hit create, hit authenticate again. There we go, just click on my email address. That's that. And then once that's just close down the pop-up, there we go. Now I can go back to Teams, hit refresh again, and I should have uh, that over here. That's it, perfect. So now I'm good to go and I can hit the import button. Okay, and it will have this gray bar at the top here that says currently importing. Uh, this could take anything, it might take 30 seconds, it could take maybe sometimes I've had it take four or five minutes, but it will happen and it will go green like this. Okay, and then I'm just gonna click that link that said Contoso team link, but it's back for the team. Now it looks like there's nothing installed. So what you need to do is click on this tab that says installed apps and you'll get this team link one here. Okay, so I can click onto that. And what I'm gonna show you now, so it's actually all installed. So I'm just gonna say, show you how you can set it up and configure it and then how you can add it to a tab so that it's really easy for people to find. Okay, so the first time you do it, it'll just take a moment just to, to load through into the, into the studio. There's some bits and bobs that happen behind the scenes. Um, but what will happen is it will load um, and then it will show like a big red bar that will say, um, you know, need to set up. Okay, so I just need to add another connection here to Office 365, so it knows who all the users are, like who's in my team, uh, and, and things like this. Okay, uh, a few more seconds just getting things ready, and we will be there. Uh, so just a few clicks to get it started. Uh, I reckon the whole thing probably would take you no, le no more than 10 minutes just to get things. So you can see here, you can see that red bar at the top uh, in the preview window that says uh, applications not been in initialized. So you set up your initial locations. Okay, so I'm gonna click preview up here in the top right so I can browse through and I'm going to hit that button that says complete setup. Okay, and that's gonna take me to this page where I can set up countries and sites. So you can have this for multiple ones. So I'm, let's say I'm gonna have uh, some offices in the United Kingdom. And let's also put in Spain here now. You can set up as many countries as you like in here, um, but I've got just two, and I'm gonna click this tab that says Edit Sites. Okay, and here I'm gonna say I'm gonna have the London office, so that's gonna be in the UK. Hit Save, let's have one in Manchester. Okay. We'll just do one more and we'll set that up in Edinburgh. Okay, also in the UK. And then let's just set up our offices in Spain. So we'll have one in Madrid and pick Spain from the list. There we go. And last one is Barcelona. Okay, and we pick Spain. Hit save. Okay, so you can see them all there. Hit close. And now this, this is showing what the first run experience is for a user. So I'd be able to say, I'm in the UK, hit continue. Then it's gonna ask me which days I work. So if I'm a part-time or if I work, you know, Sunday to Thursday or something like that, I can choose those there. Then which sites am I interested in? So I'm gonna click on all of those. So click up the top and then pick them from a list. And then I hit finish setup. Okay, so it has a little warning message here. 
that says, you know, this is uh, other people who use the system can see that. You can skip that message if you want after you've agreed the first time. Um, but here I can see I've not got any pinned contacts, um, but you can see up the top it's got a whole load of question marks. So let's just come out of this experience because this is just to set it up and I'll show you what it looks like properly. So I hit publish to Teams up the top here. Don't worry about these red crosses over here. They're, they're just because we haven't got anybody pinned and we're in the editor. So I'm going to hit next. Okay, and it's going to ask me where I want to add a tab for it. So I'm going to add it into my Contoso Team Link tab, or my Team Link team rather. Uh, okay, just a second for it to populate the list of places. There we go. So we've got general, you can see there, so it's zero active tab. So hit that plus and that will create the tab for Team Link. And that is actually it. That's the whole thing set up now and people would be able to go to it. So if I now go over to Teams, uh, that Teams icon on the left hand side, and I go to Contoso Team Link and go to my general channel, you can see here there's a tab at the top that says Team Link. Okay, so it's showing me that warning message. So I've hit don't show again. So I won't see that again in the future. So um, I've got no contacts in my pin, but if I click on my team, then it will pull in my team from Active Directory and show me those team members. So if I wanted to pin people, so let's pin Alex. So I can hit that pin icon or Isaiah uh, or other people as well. Miriam, let's pin Miriam, my boss uh, and Adele. Okay, and I go to pinned list there, then it will then have those people. Okay, so I'm gonna set my own status. So let's say on Tuesday, I am gonna be working from the office, and then I pick which office I'm gonna be working from, so London. Okay, and you'll notice there's an, op uh, an option there for others, so if you want a customer site, you can do that. So I'm at home on Wednesday, in the office again on Thursday. So let's say I'm gonna be in Edinburgh. Come, I'll fly up to Edinburgh. And then on Friday, I'm going to take the day off, so I'm not working on Friday. Uh, and then again on Monday, I'm going to be working from home. So there, you can see it only took a few seconds to do that, but my team members haven't started to use that. So let's change persona now. There we go. So I'm going to be Isaiah, who's a member of our team. There he is. And because I've pinned it into Teams there, um, into the uh, in, as a tab, I've got the Contoso Team Link team, and as Isaiah, if I click on Team Link, so first first run experience again, so I just need to allow that Office 365 connection. Okay, Isaiah also based in the UK. Hit continue. Okay, same, he's gonna be working Monday to Friday as well. Okay, he's gonna pick his sites that he's interested in. So he's interested in Edinburgh uh, and London. Okay, but maybe not in Manchester. And he clicks finish setup. Uh, don't show again on that warning. So again, you can see that Isaiah doesn't have any pinned contacts um, and doesn't have any status. But again, if he goes onto my team, then he can see here on Megan, which is the other persona, you can see that all of that uh, information is shared. So let's say that Isaiah on Tuesday is also gonna be working from the London office. Okay, he can set uh, confirm there, and then Megan would be able to see that. Now, if I say I go to the view by site option, he can actually view people who are outside of his pinned list. So you can see for London, it says two people, and he can go, ah, oh, Megan's there. So I know Megan's in my team, but it might be somebody from another team. And if you hit that coffee icon here, then you can see just down the bottom it says, hi there, we're both at London on 30th of November. It would be great to go for coffee if you're available. So there you can see, it's a really, really easy app to use. It's quite quick to set up. I think it took less than 10 minutes just to set it up there. And um, there wasn't any special permissions needed. So anybody who owns a team um, is able to do that. Um, I would definitely think about whether you're going to do it um, within a small team. So let's say you had a team of 20 people, you might set Team Link up for those 20 people. Um, but if people are, let's say you were working across, you know, you were Matrix and you were working in various projects, um, if every project team set that up, then uh, if a person was working across four projects, they'd have to keep setting their location up in, uh, in multiple locations. So definitely consider just having one bigger instance that everybody can go to, um, and then those projects can set that pinned list uh, accordingly. Uh, and something I didn't show you on there was on the pinned list, 
there's a, an option on the right hand side that says edit list and you can go and search the whole directory. So hopefully you'll find this something really useful. We use it internally uh, within my team at Microsoft um, and it's great It's great to see you know, when the office is gonna be busy, that definitely brings people in uh, and uh, we can see that lots and lots of people click that link to say, oh, let's meet up for coffee uh, and, uh, and start to make those connections because after all, that's what people are telling us. Uh, they're telling us that they're missing, you know, they like the flexibility of working from home, but they're definitely missing the in-person connection. And if we don't know where people are working, then we can't have those kind of chance meetings. They don't happen anymore now where we're working from home. So hopefully that's something that you will definitely find useful uh, in your organization. If you've installed it or if you will find it useful, please tell me in the comments uh, in this YouTube video uh, because we definitely want to stay close to this and, and, and hear more from users of the system to see how we can continue to make improvements and, uh, and make it much more useful. So head over now to aka.ms forward slash get team link to install this. And remember, so please go over to the YouTube channel as well to hit like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you find out when new content comes. Take this video, post it onto LinkedIn as well. Tell people within your organization because this is definitely something that somebody in your organization is thinking about. So hopefully you found this useful and I'll see you again on another video.